Hello and welcome back to Economic Say Level on YouTube. Today we are going to look at opportunity cost and choice. In the last video we looked at the factors of production and economic resources and we also looked at economic goods and free goods and introduced the concept of choice. In this video we're going to look at why choice is so important to economists and then look at how they understand choice through something called opportunity cost. So choice is the critical part of economics and we establish this because of the condition of scarcity that exists in economics. Pretty much everything is scarce and if you click back to the first video that we looked at, we looked at a limited number of pieces of wood. So we'll use that example again. Let's assume that we've got a limited number of pieces of wood and in our economy with those pieces of wood we can make either 300 tables or 600 chairs or use that wood to burn for fuel to keep us warm or to produce light for five months or we can do a combination of all of the above but we can't have 300 tables and 600 chairs or 600 chairs and the fuel to burn for five months there is some choice involved that we're going to have to make if we wanted let's say 150 tables and 300 chairs out of that wood, that still is involving choice because we can't have everything what we want. So we're going to have to make some choices in this use of the wood. And this is where opportunity cost comes in for economists, because by choosing one alternative, we have to give something else up. So by making 600 chairs, we're giving up 300 tables. If we choose to burn that wood for fuel, we then can't have any chairs or tables or any combination of the use of that wood will involve some choices having to be made and something being given up. If we want 150 tables, we're gonna to have to give up a certain number of chairs, for example. We can't have the maximum number of chairs. So in economics, the definition of opportunity cost is the value of the benefits that we forego, which is just another way of saying given up, of the next best alternative. So choosing one thing over another, the other thing that you left out is the next best alternative. So in other words, the benefits of what you give up by choosing to undertake a particular economic action. Let's work through a few examples just so this is reinforced. What would be the opportunity cost of you sitting in A-level or IB economics lessons? Well, there are many possible opportunity costs, but one of them is that you're giving up your free time, which you could otherwise have used to go and get some form of employment and earn money. So you're foregoing the possibility of earning money. You're sacrificing, in other words, something now, which in this case is the possibility of earning income. What is the opportunity cost of going to university and paying tuition fees for that? Well, it is the loss of possible future earnings by having to repay that student debt because it comes automatically out of your salary and you have to pay it off. So by paying tuition fees for university, you're giving up something in the future, which is the possible use of your some of your earnings, which get taken from you. And buying a new car, the opportunity cost of that is the other potential uses you could have made of that money. So whatever that car cost, you have given up what else you could have bought with that money. So for example, you could have gone on holiday with it, could have bought a new computer and so forth. So hopefully that clarifies what opportunity cost is and how choice and opportunity cost are important in economics. In the next video, we're going to apply the concept of opportunity cost and look at it graphically. And we're going to look at something called production possibility frontiers, which illustrate choice and opportunity cost. So click on the link now if you want to go straight to that video. Otherwise, please click the link at the bottom and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.